Stephanie again with another video. I haven't done one in a while, but I've been very, very busy with life. Um, a lot of things has happened in the past few months. I've been just, you know, living life and doing things that I have to do while some updates. And I'm gonna talk about it today while I'm doing my makeup. I'm being very simple, very easy don't want anything crazy as you can see i got my lashes done by exo lash my favorite lash tech she does my eyelashes just how i want them i love her so we're gonna get right into it prepping my skin for some products so the first thing i like to go in is with my mary kate eye cream any type of eye cream that you really like works fine Um, this one has just been my favorite. I have um, some good products from Mary Kay. But it's very important to put some on your eyes because it's very sensitive and you don't want nothing dry. Always when you do your makeup, you have your canvas clean. I, of course, exfoliated all of that in the bathroom. Um, next, I'm going to be putting my vitamin C and hyaluronic acid, which are two of my favorite ingredients. Um, once you're consistent with your products, you're going to see a difference. So, of course, drag that down to your nets. I'm going to be using my Mary Kay H Minimize 3D Day Cream. I need all the cream and moisture because my skin is dry. Real, real dry, especially winter time. like that and we're gonna move on to my brows so we're gonna brush them out a little bit and I'm gonna be using the NYX wax pencil for my eyebrows to stay still and I'm basically shaping them how I want them just like that So the funny thing is, I went in primarily to go get my boobs done. Um, I was like, I just want my boobs done. I was thinking of doing light bulb, but I think I'm gonna do boobs. So the reason why I got into that was because, you know, I was chubby. I love to eat everything. I love to eat like a pig. Um, I just love food. But throughout the years, I've fluctuated in my weight. When I came from Colombia, I was a very skinny girl because over there they have natural stuff, natural food, everything is fresh. You run, you go outside, so you tend to lose weight as a kid. So as soon as I came back to the U.S., girl, girl, I fucking gained weight. I gained weight so fast um, because of the foods, so the fast foods that was around, so... I fluctuated in my weight a lot. I went to the gym trying to lose weight. That didn't work. Um, and I went through a really bad time in my life where I got really skinny. But was I was being really skinny but very unhealthy because I wasn't eating. So I was very skinny, very, very skinny, not the healthy skinny. Um and then I realized, you know, I don't like how the way I look. I want to be a little thicker. I want to be a little healthier. And then that's when I went back to eating. So when I started eating a lot, you know, I obviously gained weight. So once you lose, you know, lose weight, gain weight, lose weight, gain weight, you get a little, you know, your skin is not as tight, which is fine. Uh, I never had a problem with my body. I never was like, oh my God, why am I fat? Why am I chubby? Why this and that? You know, I kind of learned to grow into my body and love it. So, then people started thinking I was pregnant. I'm like, no, I'm not pregnant, okay? I'm not pregnant. I just love to eat good, okay? So, that was not, that was not because I was pregnant, you know? But that's what people thought. And once you're in a good relationship... 
and your partner likes to eat like you do you know you eat with them and you share all these foods and then you start gaining weight and plus you know i smoke i smoke so when i smoke it gets me more anxious to eat i just want to eat, eat 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 so that was that's where i started seeing you know little things about my body that i wanted to change and you know gym wasn't really the thing for me um i just wanted kind of fast results so i got into looking for a surgeon and um i go to the spa where they have consultations for surgery as well and i knew the the girl the woman the owner of the spa because i've been there several times and she suggested me not to get my boobs done because then i would look more pregnant which is true why would i get my boobs done and then have a big ass belly and people think i'm real pregnant i didn't want that so she suggested me to do lipo and that's exactly what i did gave the deposit down i had everything ready um so the day comes okay Rewind light concealer just to conceal the bottom and the top. Okay, so surgery day comes. They told me not to get nervous because then you know your high blood pressure and things like that. So, to be honest, I wasn't really nervous. Um, I wasn't nervous, I just didn't even feel anything the day of i was actually just really calm i did smoke beforehand just in case if i did get nervous on my way there then i'll be more calm so i did that um i was in surgery you know they had given me some pills to you know ease the pain because my so i got local anesthesia where it just you get an anesthesia only on the part that you're going to get operated from. Fine. You know, I heard things that if you go to sleep, then you probably won't wake up. So I thought that was a good idea. So I was like, you know, and my mom, she's Salvadorian. So she gets really nervous about these things. She's like, you know, don't do it, all of that. But if I was to listen to other people, then I wouldn't have the body that I have today. So I got, I did it anyways. Um... And let me tell you, that was like the most traumatizing experience I have ever dealt with in my whole entire life. I'm telling you, I was awake the whole time talking to the doctor. Um, and I remember, because you feel it. You feel it, but you just don't feel the pain. You feel the, you know, the, the syringe or whatever they use go into your body. Oh, when it went by the ribs, I felt it going by the ribs, like... I just remember praying to God, please let this get over with. I don't want to do it again. I don't want to do it this way anyways. Please just, I was just counting the hours and I was just talking to the doctor. And then the pills didn't kick in until afterwards when I was already on my way home. Um, So the pills didn't work right there and then, but it's okay. That's just something that, you know, you get stronger, I guess, because that's, uh, that's a uh, pain that's that's something traumatizing to me at least so the whole procedure was about an hour my boyfriend was waiting for me outside the doctor's room and he said it went by really fast um so that's it for the surgery part now for the pricing um people are asking me do you recommend your doctor do you remember do you regret doing your body and all that um what i tell everybody is if you're gonna get your body done please go to colombia please go to the dominican republic wherever that's not the united states because why why i paid six thousand dollars for surgery which is fine i had the money i could do it but with those six thousand dollars 
You could have went to Columbia, got your boobs done, body done, even your teeth. <laughs> but why you didn't do it in Columbia was because at that time, the border wasn't open yet. So I was just like, fuck it, let's do it. You know, I'm already here and, you know, I don't want to have to be quarantined because I have to go back to work um, type thing. So I decided to get it done here. The doctor, do I recommend the doctor? Um, no, I recommend other doctors. Um, I just, at that moment, that's the doctor that was given to me. Fine, you know, fine. So that was the surgery. Okay, now for the massages. I paid an extra 2000 so in total it was like 8200 that I paid. Um, this includes the two fajas, the board, the um, foams, the massages, and um the carbo carbo proxy carbohydroxy i don't know what's called when they inject you to that get fibrosis oh my goodness so the first weeks it was really good um it did hurt really really bad i remember it hurt really bad but i'm actually really good at you know pain i'm usually good at um basically not feeling pain um or kind of holding it in if it hurts i'm i'm really good at that but the last two weeks you have to be consistent with your massages because you get fibrosis i'll go like three times a week two times a week because obviously i was working so i didn't have a lot of time there was one time that i left for like a week i had to come back get my massages done the ladies are really really good because those women who are doing my massages are really doing it hard and how supposed to because they got to kill that fibrosis they got to make sure your body is smooth this is the time where you sculpt your body so that's that for that um so that was like uh, eight thousand dollars um i'm on my last one i have a last one tomorrow which i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to go because I'm gonna be busy but my boyfriend the good thing he does my massages at home <laughs> so I don't have to pay you know anybody else it's you know it's worth it but right now I have to get things done so he does my massages so one through ten I want to say the pain during surgery it was a very uncomfortable feeling I want to say at eight um the massages i want to say that's a, a little bit up there because they have to drain you you still feel sore so it's been a month and a half and i still feel sore i still can't do exercise i have to eat very very well um gotta make sure i maintain the body how it is um i did get a small small amount of fat in my hips nothing crazy i didn't want to look exaggerated that's the thing i told him you know do something very minimal something that's obviously gonna show that you know i'm skinny again and hopefully i'll maintain it like that i you know it's a lot of money so uh eating has been another obstacle for me because obviously like that night before i had a big ass stomach an hour later i'm skinny i'm fucking skinny and not only that these fajas i started off with a small faja okay a small faja and i just recently moved to a extra small so your body is still healing obviously so you don't want to you know you don't want to miss that you need to go into a smaller faja make sure everything is you know correct you're eating well so that has been one of the challenges and the first week i took a week off of work i was like the first week obviously i cannot go to work next week i did go to work i was very careful i have my butt pillow um making sure i don't sit on my butt um and but i just remember having the faja and it was you know filled with blood coming on the side of the wounds and it was pretty gross because you know those people who are who are afraid of like what's in their body like those people that 
are scared of that that's me so i couldn't even look at my own holes um and so my boyfriend helped me throughout the whole way he was changing it for me he was helping me put the faja he had my food ready really awesome i couldn't have asked for any but anyone better than him to have helped me he was just awesome um by the way the concealer i used is the yellow concealer by la colors and now i'm using my fancy beauty um this is the hydration one this is the hydrating moment wear foundation because again i don't i have dry skin so i'm not gonna put dry on dry the eating because you don't get to eat bread or junk food like how you used to um and that's it but it's okay because now that i'm skinny now that i'm skinny now i'm actually wanting to do exercise i want to go out and do exercise i'm more motivated um and i'm motivated more to eat healthier um do all my vitamins you know just a better healthier life um i, I remember when he showed me the amount of fat that they took it out of my body it was like a big thing like this maybe like a gallon and a half oh my god i was like that's all in my body oh, lord have mercy what i was doing but so that's that for the surgery um said i'm not fully healed so certain things i'm not comfortable wearing right now because let's say if i jump it hurts a little um and yeah, my body has a lot, a lot of to, a lot to go down. It's still swollen up. So, if you want to do lipo, any type of surgery, go ahead and do it. Um, because if it feels like it's gonna make you feel better about yourself, I am all for it. You shouldn't listen to other people. Um. You know, if you want to do it, just do it. Because I remember when I first started thinking about it, everybody said, no, just do exercise. Just do this, that. You're going to work. Not everybody, not everything works for everybody, you know. So, if you have the opportunity, do it. Do it. Um, would I do it again? Yeah, I would do it again. I would probably go in for a round two. Um for more definition um but i would rather be asleep <laughs> uh that's why i said i'd rather be asleep i'd rather not even feel anything um so that's that's that for my surgery oh and a week later uh i think i went to get my lips done too so i know a lot of people are like like why you do that because i want to if I want to get surgery, if I want to get lip injections, if I want to get Botox, it's what I want, okay? If I'm going to be over here listening to other people, I'm not going to do what I want. So, you know, I'm going to show you a little bit of my So, this is what my stomach looks like. I took out the faja just for this. So... I'm going to show you my incisions. They made it very, very... You can see this is where the underwear goes, so you won't see it. And I also have one here. And I have one on the side, which they're going. And he made sure if the other holes that I have, they were going to be by my tattoo, so you could barely see them. I also did incision here in my stomach, um, so it's not noticeable. Um, like I said, I wanted something very, very minimal, something that's, you know, going to look natural because I feel like a lot of girls are going a little saturated. So, you know, now I'm going to go in with my air sponge, which you can find at Target, I think CVS, and they also have, I think like two other colors. This is a, this is just a translucent. I love it because it's inexpensive and it's heavy duty. So I like to pack that in. Especially my 
some lila lines because I crease a lot there. Let's see is this Nailene or Nailin. This is actually, I think, a Colombian brand. Or I don't know. But this I got in Colombia and it's actually one of my favorite powders. It's very lightweight and it gives you the right amount of color. Um, so this I just put on the places that I, I want a little bit of more color. And then I wipe it off. So you can see my skin is very smooth. Like I said, it's really important to exfoliate beforehand because if you don't exfoliate and you're putting makeup on top of that skin, it's going to look crazy. So, um, The good thing is about having eyelashes is <laughs> you don't get to do all these extra steps, all these mascaras. You just got to be careful and brush them out, you know. one has a little speckled uh kind of like very sparkly not very sparkly but luminous type of bronzer um so i'm just going in a little bit so there's a balance in my face and it's just not one color next surgery that i want to do i want to definitely get my teeth done um i think having nice teeth is very very important that's the first thing you see in other people is their teeth and if they're not up to par i've just had a lot of difficulty with my teeth since growing up uh, i hate the dentist but i feel like if i get my teeth done it's just going to look awesome so i'm working on that right now you know little things by little things but that's something i want to get done bobby brown cream blush and i like to use this purplish pinkish color and i love using it because um it is cream so it doesn't look all matte and boring and flat it just gives a little luminous look to your face like that thing is I've moved recently so I've been just back and forth fixing my location because I want to decorate this room really really nice so I'm also in the process of fixing my car oh my god everything has happened 2020 <laughs> it's it's crazy but um if I'm not wearing lip gloss I'm wearing a little bit of lip liner and this is the wet n wild gel lip liner in the color bear to comment You can see my phone is sliding. But that's my plants, y'all. I love my plants. They just they make me feel so good. I talk to them all the time. This is the Vivid Hot Liqueur. A lacquer. <laughs> lacquer. Um, by Maybelline. They're super, super pigmented glasses. Oh, I just love it. This is a nude one. And we cannot forget about our setting spray. This just brings the whole look together. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow. I like to shake it up because it kind of settles. But once you shake it up, the best part is the spraying because it's very smooth. 
and even. And it's going watermelon. Also, I'm wearing my natural hair. It's wavy. It has a lot of products. I've been, I've been uh, really deep conditioning my hair and putting a lot of treatments. Um, I had red hair too, which I already missed and I want to dye it back, but I can't. So, that's it, you guys. This is the quick look while telling you my experience with light bulb. If you have any other questions, DM me and I'll let you know. But that's it. Bye, guys.